chair. Come up, chair. Oh. <laughs> Jerk. Is that good? <laughs> There's food. Are we on? Yes, okay. yes, we are. Okay. Hi, folks. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Jen has poppables over there. And Winston, <laughs> well, Winston is over there, but Petey's right here. So, so trying to get Winston to get over in the chair. And he is trying to get in the chair now. Oh, now he'll get in the chair. So, I know Petey. Is Timmy in the well? Is that where Timmy is in the well? Okay. There's Petey Beagle. All right. And then here's Winston. All right. Well, here. I've got to feed everybody today. So there we go. Willie Bear. There we go. And Miss Nollis. I've got the whole crowd here. Ah, oh, ah, oh, Petey Beagle. You be nice. That's Miss Nollis. That's Miss Nollis. So, okay, we're all done. All done. All gone. Okay. All right, we got the whole gang. Oh, and there goes Winston. All right. Am I good? Thank you very much. We've got uh, Abby and Jenny and my mom's down here, so I've got to be good today. My mom's watching, so she's in the studio. She's in the green room. Well... Or the white room or the orange room or the box room. The box room. She's the in the box. box room there. So um, thanks for joining us. Glad you're here. Um, I got to do a shout out to my friends up in La Crosse, especially to uh, Tom and Neil and Adam and Ed. We uh, took a group up there from Kansas City and operated on all those fine gentlemen's railroad. And it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. A lot of fun up there. Great weather too, by the way, up there. Uh, cool in the morning and warm in the afternoon. So and we ate way too much. A lot of good food up there. So um, this is our 49th show. And so that makes our next show the 50th. So we're going to have to do something special. Um, Jen and I have been talking about it. We haven't got any ideas yet, but uh, I will tell you, we'll put something out. I'll try to let you know by the end of the show. I think you want to watch the show think you want to be on during the show because I think that's when we're going to have the specials on is just during the show. So we'll try to move a lot of items and have a lot of neat things out here and kind of celebrate the big 50. So is there anything I'm forgetting, Jen? Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's get started. There we go. So I'll give you a little bit of preview of what we're doing tonight. We've got a lot more, we've still got a few more trucks to go through. They were very popular last time, so we will have a few more of those. And then we're gonna get into some uh, some steel, stuff for the, for the steel mill uh, fans out there. Got some cars with that. And then we're also gonna dive into, um, dive into some older collectible items, I think is what I would call them. So uh, some neat stuff that's a little more, uh, more collectible based um than anything else a lot of good prices tonight so uh should be pretty good and uh we'll try to get through it and get to the end scale show because that'll come up afterwards and we have a lot of locomotives and a lot of buildings for the end scalers that, that may be on here early so um hello to everybody good to see you all um abby will type in our email if you haven't already got our email so let's start with item number one and these are trucks and all the trucks are fifteen dollars each and let's start with purple. How about a purple uh, flatbed truck, an international truck? Uh, we had a few of these last week. We've got more this week. A lot of nice detailing. Got uh, the uh, uh, safety stripes back there by the, near the mud flaps. Beautiful trucks, ready for your railroad. Item number one, the purple truck, $15. Number two, let's go to orange. And this is a slightly different style. I believe this is a GMC. It says here, it says GMC uh, top, top Kick truck. You've got some nice detail underneath, drive shaft. Big oversized mirrors. Orange uh, flatbed. Nice detailing on the, uh, the rims. Good overall detailing. Number two, $15. Number three. We'll do one more orange. This is back to the international style of a truck. Got the international logo on the side. Detail, uh, detail along the side there for tie downs. Nice looking truck. Number three, $15. Number four, 
Number four. Oh, I don't have to take the card down. I don't know why I'm doing that. So back to the uh, internet or the GMC type truck here this time. Uh, flatbed. Yellow. It's the yellow truck. Very nice looking truck. Nicely detailed. $15 for number four. Number five. Uh, back to what is this? This has still got the container to put it in and this looks like also looks like an international looks like it's got extra features down here underneath on the underside there for storage um, got all the uh, mirrors nice green color nice uh, kind of a hunter green and again it's got its own little container part of the container go number five for the green truck oh we have another one same type same style same details same everything it's number six so if you need two green trucks you can get that Come on, Jen. Are they different? No, I thought there was a logo on the door. Oh. No, no logo on the door on either side of these. But some nice detailing overall. Number six. Okay. Number seven. Back to the international flatbed dually. Uh, got the, the dual wheels in the back here. All the nice detailing on it. Got the uh, cab lights up above. Drive shaft underneath. Nice looking truck, number seven for $15. I do have a couple of these yellow ones and they're all duallys. They're all pretty much the same. So we can spread the wealth. Everybody can get one of these. This is number eight. It's the yellow international. And I think I pointed this out last week. and I don't know if we can show it in the show, but I think if you look at the logo on this side and the logo on this side up close, it has international, but they didn't flip it. So it's backwards on one side and it's right side on the other. So kind of neat there. That's number eight. And number nine, one more yellow uh, international truck flatbed. These three are all the same, all with nice details, nice underframe details, ready for a load of whatever you need on there. <clears throat> all right, let's go into the red trucks now. Red truck, so number 10 is a dually flatbed in the container here, and this is also an international. Again, so we've got uh, the two axles on the rear, all the nice details, side mirrors, reflectors, number 10, $15. And that was with a silver, is it silver or white, Jen, on the uh, silver. bed? Silver. So I've got one now with a white bed. So same, oh, and this is the GMC, that's why it's slightly different. So it's not the International, it's the uh, GMC. Number 11, $15. All right, we're coming down to the end of the trucks. And uh, one more, now this is a single axle on the rear. So it's a uh, flatbed, same style, same everything, except it's a single axle versus dual. Again, it's an International. Number 12 is $15, there we go. Okay, and here you go, Jen. Now we're gonna get into, let's dive into the steel items. So I've got a, I have got a packet here, a three. <laughs> Jenny, you're silly. This is a limited edition Walters kit of three hot metal cars. Um, this is, uh, it's still factory sealed, $75 for the pack. I uh, can't see much about it other than, than that. Looks like it's the hot metal car number 14, number 35, and number 58, black with white lettering on each there. Um, these are hard to find out there from what I'm looking at on the internet, uh, but tough to beat. So very nice uh, set there for $75. Again, these are kits, but uh, hard to find. So that's number 13. I've got one other kit. There's two people out there that want to uh, to, to do this. So um, we've got uh, whose whose shoes? They're talking about my shoes, mm -hmm. my my chief shoes. It must be your chief shoes. My but chief, they're not as cool chief. as the shoes I got you for Christmas. Well, those are those are my yeah those are my hey dudes. So anyway, number <laughs> number fourteen. This is seventy five dollars. This is also a sealed packet. Three kits of the uh, Walters uh, hot metal cars. Same numbers, 35, uh, 14, and 58. So if you need to have the camera in the wrong direction. There we go. That's it. So ready for that uh, steel mill if you're if you're building one on your railroad. So all right, number 15. 
15 this is uh this is going to kind of give you an idea of what these kits look like because this is one that is opened this one is sealed so it's it's a three pack that's been broken into um it broken apart but one of them is still sealed so 58 is still sealed and it looks like doesn't say what number this is but uh everything appears to be intact and complete on all of these and this is $50 for number 15 for all of these uh, hot metal cars. Number 15. There we go. All right. One more uh, single hot metal car. This is uh, the hot metal car. This is undecorated. This is a kit. This is uh, $28, $28 for this kit, still factory sealed, ready to go. These are hard to find out there from what I can tell, and they're highly sought after, I guess, by the, uh, a lot of the uh, steel mill modelers. So, what's this? That is, that all that goes, all three of those go together. That's 15. Oh. Okay. Yep. That 15? Yeah. Okay, then there's that 16. I'm sorry. This is 17. So this is a single slag car, number 36. It's a Walter's Gold Line car, ready to go. This is $28 in the box, ready to go, brand new. Number 17. Number 18. This is a another a hot bottle car. This is $28. It's a single. It's number 936. New in box, ready to go. Never, never used to, to my knowledge. 936 number on there. Ready to be used in your steel mill. Number 18. Number 19. One more uh, hot bottle car for $28. Not 31, 28. Uh, number 936, the same number. That's number 19 for $28. All right, let's dive into some bargain basement stuff here for a little while. A lot of neat stuff at very reasonable prices. Everything here is going to be $5, folks. So we're going to run through a lot of blue boxes and a lot of trains, um, trains in miniature. So, which, again, back in the day, along with the afternoon blue boxes, were the bomb, for sure. So um, how about an undecorated, for number 20, an undecorated uh, Athern tank car, blue box kit, undecorated tank car, chemical tank car, it says here. So number 20 is $5. These are all five, Jen. Here is a pickle car. Uh, number 21 is a pickle heart, Heinz pickle car. This is uh, all intact there. Still have the box sealed up there. $5 for the closed sized, closed side pickle car. Not easy to say. Number 22 is another undecorated tank car for $5. Got everything you need to do that. Ready to be painted up into the home road. The, temi the chemical tank car item number 22 number 23 also five dollars a uh, composite side undecorated composite side uh two bay covered hop or two bay hopper car looks like the package is open but it looks like it's got everything everything you still need in there to put the kit together undecorated ready for the home road five dollars got an undecorated 40 foot box car uh, all the parts has been has been opened up, but it's still good to go. Five dollars for number twenty-four. Number twenty-five. How about a Santa Fe fifty-foot box car, express box car, a uh, Ather and Blue Box kit? The kit has been started. Uh, most of it's done, but it looks like it's still need to put the doors on and the uh, brake wheel. Brake wheel. I'm working on my words today. Number twenty-five is. Five dollars. Here's a bargain. How about a heavy duty Erie flat car? Heavy duty Erie flat car. Got all of its parts and pieces ready to go. Twenty-six. Five dollars. Number twenty-seven is a Northern Pacific forty-foot box car. Still had all of its wrapping, all of its parts there. Five dollars for number twenty-seven. All right, where's my Santa Fe fans? Here we go. $5 for a Santa Fe 40-foot uh, uh, grain boxcar. 
they actually loaded the grain in here and uh, then they would uh, build sidings around the sides there so you could keep it from leaking out of the box car. $5 for number 28. And I've got a couple of these for anybody who's interested. Here's number 29. One more Santa Fe ship and travel Santa Fe all the way. Grain box car, 40 foot grain car, number 29, $5. And number 30 is a ship and travel Santa Fe all the way, 40 foot grain box car, number 30, $5. All right, let's dive into some uh, uh, trains, mini trains miniature. And we'll start off with a locomotive. This is a FAB unit. It is painted red and silver Santa Fe. It's got the old horn hook couplers. The wheels are actually inside. Even looks like brass wheels, it's kind of dating itself here. This is also five dollars for number 31. Number 32, five dollars is a better for baby Gerber's strained vegetable 40 foot wood reefer. What uh, what reefer doesn't have elephants and animals running along the side? Oh, that's after the different kind of reefer you get that. Never mind, okay. Number 32, five dollars. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Colorado brownies, okay. Trains miniatures, <laughs> central of Jersey, 40 foot steel <coughs> box car. Right. New, in, uh, new in the original package, um, classic. These again were uh, quite the bomb back in the day. Uh, quite the kits, they were competing against Athern. Number 33 is five dollars. I do have a couple of these Frisco 40 foot wood box cars uh, in a interesting scheme. I can't quite read what that is. I didn't look at that before the show. Need to be uh, get my uh, magnifying lenses on, my uh, visor to see that stuff. But still a neat looking car. Number 34, $5. And I have two of those just in case anybody's interested. They are the same number. This is kind of in the days back before we had. Uh, Multiple numbers on cars for operation. Number 35, $5. Here, of course, is the famous Grand Union Food Markets. Uh, 50 foot, excuse me, 40 foot Woodside Gosh. Reefer car. You all right there? <laughs> Grand Union Food Markets, 40 foot wood refrigerator car, $5, number 36. Here we go. How about a Domino's Sugar, Franklin Sunny Cane Domino's Sugar, uh, forty foot Woodside reefer car or box car? Excuse me. This is a box car, not a reefer car. Didn't see the hatches. Yep. Nice, uh, nice detail on the roof, by the way, on those. Kind of nice. So thirty-seven is five dollars. I do have two of those. So item number thirty-eight will also be a forty foot Woodside. Franklin Sunny Cane Domino's Sugars Boxcar. We're with us here. We're getting caught up. That must have been it. We can double check. Hi. Who's it for? Foxy D. Foxy DJ, you wanted the undecorated 40 foot box car? Let us know, please. Want to verify we have it correctly for you. Thank you. How about the Prima Special Union Refrigerator uh, 40 foot wood reefer? Prima Beer. Everybody needs a beer car in their railroad. Always good to have these. Number 39, $5. Here's an interesting car. This is a uh, maintenance away car, material car for Western Union Telegraph. Uh, trains miniature kit. Appears to have everything in there and, and intact in the original box. Maintenance away car, material car for Western Union. Number 40 is $5. I'll have a couple of these throughout here. How about a, a Northwestern Pacific, a subsidiary of the Southern Pacific, the Redwood Empire route overnight. So it's an overnight Northwestern Pacific logo. Very nice uh, on that car. Uh, nice wood side box car. The merchandise service. 41 is $5.
And can't forget the old Baby Ruth candy bar, Curtis products. I've got a couple of these. These are uh, Woodside Reefers with Baby Ruth candy. Number 42 is $5. And just in case you need two, here is another one. Again, same numbers on these, which have to be renumbered if we're going to use it on the operation-based railroad. That's number 43. I just confirmed 26 is correct. Okay, I that's correct. I went back and looked at the stuff. Okay, good, good, good to know. Number 44 is one more Baby Ruth 40-foot Woodside reefer car. Got to keep those Baby Ruths uh, cold for get them to the uh, store. So everybody knows that. So. Uh-oh, more beer cars. How about another Prima Special? Uh, different style of box here, but uh, still a nice car. Original kit. Prima Beer, number 45, is $5. <laughs> it's Kraft cheese and mayonnaise. All I can think about is Officer and Gentleman. And uh, Lou, was it Lou Gosses Jr.? You know, the hard, uh, hardcore drill sergeant talking to uh, Richard Gear and calling him mayonnaise. So, anyway, number 46 is a Kraft 40-foot uh, Woodside uh, boxcar, uh, reefer car, excuse me. So, rest in peace. Great actor. All right, now item number 47. This is a, a North American dispatch. Pluto Water, America's Psychic. French Lick Springs Hotel in French Lick, Indiana. There you go. Now, that's a classic right there. Pluto Water, number 47, is $5. Uh-oh. Well, I tried to get these all together, and apparently I did not do a very good job. Here is another Prima Special. More beer. Can't have enough beer. And God bless those guys in Wisconsin. Every place we went, whether it was morning or night, they had beer in the refrigerator and was always help yourself, so... It was a nice, very nice weekend. Number 48 is five dollars. Nice. I've been stacking these up. So behind here. that's all right. That's all right. Here's kind of a neat car. This is a stock car, and this is for this is New York Central, an ASR standard stock car. I took a long time looking at this and I couldn't see where it says New York Central on here. It does say you have to return it to the or it was built in the dispatch shops in East Rochester, New York. And you can't see and it's got all the information up high here. I imagine it's that way so if stuff flows out of the car it doesn't cover the uh, the information you need to have on the car so get yeah, that stuff manure so number 49 is five dollars all right for my sp fans i'm going to have several of these no need to fight over them i've got four of these coming up so the uh, sp Overnight special, uh, overnight service uh, boxcar, um, double sheath boxcar, overnighter. Uh, they're popular service between Los Angeles and the and San Francisco, the Bay Area. Number 50 is $5. Number 51, same car, same deal, $5. Buy one for $5. <laughs> Get the second one for $5. My mom's been watching some of those Crazy Eddie commercials from back east, so, which I need to do a theme like that, and we'll do a Crazy Eddie show one time. Our prices are insane. So, well, my East Coast friends know exactly what I'm talking about. So, and number 53, one last SP uh, overnighter service. Number 53 is Here we go, number 54, Western Fruit Express, Great Northern, Rocky to Goat there uh, on the refrigerator car. Sorry about that, I hit the uh, hit the tripod there. Classic service, carried on even into uh, the BN days, Western Fruit Express, uh, for those folks that know about it. Pretty neat, number 54 is $5. Um, do any of the cars have weight to them? Yes, yes, uh, these, there there is weight in the kits. Uh, I have my 3M, and for those of you that don't know what 3M stands for, it stands for Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company. It's written right in the side of the car. So that's a, a good trivia question if you're playing. But yes, they are, um, it's got all the parts in here that include weights. And all of these have got this in here. So I don't know if you can see the weights in there and the doors, wheels, 
Ooh, and the horn hook couplers. There you go. So number 55 is five dollars. All right, number 56 is an undecorated wood uh, side uh, reefer. Number 56, undecorated, ready for the home road. Ready for your paint booth for the home road. All right, number 57 is also undecorated, uh, ready for that paint booth for the home road. Five dollars. All right, numbers. these last couple ones are really going to be kind of classic in my book. Um, these are going to be ten dollars each. Forgive me here while I'm getting this together. These I would I would put more in the area of collector's items in my book. Um, you'd have to tell me out there, but this is a this is an Athern Dummy F7 in the Southern Pacific Black Widow paint scheme. Notice how it's missing the striping down here at the bottom. Uh, but this is, and it's got the decal for it right there. There's the decal with the logo. This has got everything it needs. Everything's correct in here. Instead of the dummy trucks, you have to screw those or screw those into the frame. And it's got the classic design, guys, I think is in terms of the old style Atherin box. I don't know. I think the box alone is worth probably the price of the car, but, but just really neat. So this is really more of a collector's item than anything else, and I'm hoping it's going to go to somebody who will appreciate it. Um, but this is $10 for this uh, nice collector's item. The F7 Dummy Diesel. You dummy diesel. I feel like Red Fox. You big dummy diesel. $10 for number 58. I do have a couple more of these exactly the same. Again, Southern Pacific uh, Black Widow. All the parts, everything you need in there. The Dummy Diesel, 59 is $10. And number 60, same thing. Oops, wrong end there. Dummy Diesel and the classic uh, Athern with the Boston and Main Train steam engine passenger train coming around the corner. So kind of neat. Number 60 is $10. Coming down toward the end here, let's do uh, an undecorated uh, F unit. Uh, again, the, the same kit. This says it's an undecorated F uh, dummy diesel. And again, it's got the, the earlier or the, the version of the cover that we're familiar with here uh, with, the, with the Santa Fe passenger train UPF unit and the steam engine coming around the corner head on towards you. $10 for number 61. Number 62, this is a Pennsylvania Railroad. And uh, again, this is, a, looks like it's got everything it needs in there. Looks like the, the trucks are actually in plastic form versus metal. Uh, and a kit there, package ready to go. Um, the Penn Railroad, it says here. So it's the part of the passenger series. So number 62 is $10. Tony Cook kind of stuff, I think, what we've got here tonight. So, um, Tell you what, we'll get rid of that, and I will throw this out here for five dollars. I do have a Southern Pacific um, Jeep Black Widow, and I'm not sure all the parts are here. It looks like it's missing some of the grab irons in the sign, but it's got all the other parts. Look at like the trucks are actually in a, a kit for me. I have to put those together. So, if you're interested in that, five dollars for number sixty-three. Found another, uh, it's another one of those uh, really neat RBB or excuse me RBBX uh, Burlington boxcar kits from uh, the end of cab models. We'll do five dollars on number sixty four if you're interested in this one. Looks like it's got some a little bit of uh, paint issues there, but it can easily be weathered out. Everything else appears to be intact. Number sixty four is five dollars. So this is a bit unusual. It looks like this has already been started to be filled in. I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish here. It's got some neat uh, Chemtron, um, looks like tender hatches. So I'm not sure what someone was trying to custom build here with this. Looks like everything else is complete and it's got an interesting uh, hood on this as well. But uh, number 65 there is kind of an Atherin kit that looks like it's getting kit bashed into something else. 
for five dollars. Number sixty-five. We'll do ten dollars on all of this. This is just all sorts of stuff. Atherin parts. Looks like we got a headlight. Looks like we got a bunch of grab irons there. There's at least one motor. It looks like it's a motor and trucks to like an Alco S2. Looks like there's actually two sets of trucks and two sets of frames. Uh, some more grab irons there. Interesting wiring. Uh, looks like uh, for, I guess, for use on those trucks. I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, all of that, $10. Looks like we've got uh, some gear packaging here gear package and another gear package here looks like this is looks like these are for the trucks gear package for the truck so number 66 and the closer for tonight ten dollars where's my dogs no Well, it can't be Winston because he's over here. That, that's good because he's normally drinking out of the toilet. So, you know, how pity beagle. All right, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you so much for your continued support, your continued business. Winston appreciates it. It helps uh, helps get him food and treats, right? Right? That's a good boy. Um, watch. I may put a, a, a video out prior to next Monday. We'll do something special. Uh, and I'll try to give you guys a heads up of what it is. Um, but we are, uh, we're looking forward to the big show next week. We're going to wrap things up here and we'll go into the N-Scale show. So if you're hanging on, uh, hang on a minute. We'll dive over to that one and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. We think, Winston. We think.